Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. So obviously the other day I posted a video in which I talked about all of the DLC maps that were teased within D Machina's intro cutscene. Obviously Grigori Weaver looks at various different computer screens that point to where we will be heading within the DLC. One of those locations is the k Combat Base in Vietnam that is likely to be DLC 1. The other location is Berlin. And the final location is in fact Mount Yamantau, which is one of the mountains that makes up the Euro Mountains in Russia. Today I want to focus in on this Mount Yamantau map and provide some further information that I didn't include within that video. But if you want to check out that video, it will be linked in this video's description. So obviously we visited Mount Yamantau within the very first Black Ops campaign. However, we revisit this Doomsday Bunker within Black Ops Cold War's campaign. But there is something else that I missed from the video that I made before. So there is a cipher that is one of the intel on D Machina and this K cipher was solved by Rich Killer and when translated it reads, Attention K, initial survey of Ural site verifies it is by far the largest incursion zone yet recorded. We must assume Requiem will detect it via satellite and deploy fire teams, regardless of sovereign borders. Recommend continuing operations while monitoring Requiem communications. With your support, I will ensure any new gains remain in Soviet hands. And the solution key is Outbreak. So this 100% confirms that we will be heading to the Ural Mountain site within the DLC. It appears to be the largest site for where there is a Dark Aether anomaly and the undead are seeping out. This is obviously yet another Omega location and Omega facility. So I'm wondering which DLC this is actually going to be. I I was thinking it could be DLC 2, but maybe it's going to be one of the later DLCs if it is the largest site. Maybe it could be DLC 3 or even DLC 4. Well, who is K? Whoever K is appears to be the leader of the Soviet-led Omega Group. And I'm pretty sure it's referring to Lev Kravchenko. Now, I talked about this before, but even more evidence of this is the fact that a lot of the Omega intel within the game refer to a higher power in charge as a colonel. And and obviously Krevchenko is a colonel. And there is another cipher that is referencing him that was found via the satellite easter egg on the map. So yeah, this side easter egg on D Machina is exactly what the prior cipher was saying was going to happen. Us playing as Requiem figure out the Omega Ural Mountains facility via the satellite. That says attention KP confirms viability of deployment, opportunity identified in previous communities selected site is approved for trial run of Operation Inversion. The nature of warfare is about to transform any mission, any time, any place. So yeah, I think K is Kravchenko, P could maybe be Perseus or someone else, G could be Gorbachev. I'm just trying to think of Russians who it could be referring to, I don't really know. But yeah, what do you think of going to Mount Yamantau as a zombies map? Are you annoyed that it's going to be the same location that we visited in the campaign? Because I'm not, I don't care one bit. This is a new location we haven't explored in zombies before and I'm sure it's not going to be exactly the same as the campaign. They'll probably have some areas that are cornered off and there'll probably be some additional areas. A lot of the areas will probably be the same, but as I was saying, we've never explored it in zombies before, so it doesn't bother me because it's still going to be a unique experience for zombies. And obviously there's another piece of intel within the game. This is a piece of Dark Aether intel and it's from a lost soul that's been stuck in the Dark Aether for 1,108 days. They say, attempts to pass through weak spots yielding limited results, manage to lengthen glitch glimpses of home into brief visits. Location is different every time. A jungle, a village, which I'm assuming is referring to the Vietnam zombies map, and a glacier. And obviously if we look outside of the Mount Yamantau map, in the campaign we do see a glacier literally drifting down the mountain. I wander on scene like a ghost 10 or 15 seconds then pulled back here. If I could only get someone to see me, if I could only ask for help. So maybe the Easter egg on the Vietnam map or even the Mount Yamantau map could be rescuing this soul from the dark ether since they somehow are able to get out of the dark ether to the normal world but only temporarily and then they are pulled back into the dark ether. So the dark ether appears to not work in equilibrium to the real world. Time seems to be completely off and not running parallel. So when this character somehow makes his way out of the dark ether temporarily not only does he make his way out at completely different locations around the world but also at different time periods. The dark ether appears to be kind of like a reflection of reality 
reality, but also a reflection of different points in time. And all I'm going to say is obviously Zombies now has an extraction feature where you can escape the map on a helicopter at milestone rounds. And at the end of this mission, you extract on a helicopter, so I'm wondering if they're going to reuse the exact same mechanics where you escape in the same fashion to the end of this mission. Now, of course, there is another side mission on this Mount Yamantau map to do with Steiner. I've talked about this in prior videos, but you are able to collect a key. With this key, you are able to unlock a locker that has a picture of Steiner in it. And then you are able to collect a Redeemer weapon. When doing so, you have another numbers flashback. Well, look at this. But not long later in the mission, you get this quote. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. Steiner was working on all sorts of crazy shit. That Nova 6 business was just the tip of the iceberg. And essentially, this quote says that Steiner was up to much worse experiments than just with Nova 6, obviously zombies. Wood says, you ask me, they're here for more than just the mainframe. So clearly, the Soviets and Omega Group are doing something darker here to do with the zombies, and it appears as this seems to be the largest dimensional breach in which they have breached through to the dark ether. So I'm excited to see what this zombies map is going to be, but I do see us seeing Steiner potentially as a boss zombie, and potentially coming alive as a zombie. Obviously, he was killed by Mason thinking he was Victor Reznov in Rebirth in Black Ops 1. But yeah, I really do see Steiner potentially being a boss considering he was supposed to be one on D-Machine but was cut from the game and replaced with all of. Now, I talked about this in the last video but obviously Harris is somehow still alive as we saw him within the live action trailer where he was being interrogated by Bowman's son. And that's all tying into the Warzone storyline, I think, so we'll probably find out what exactly that is all about later. But obviously the mission in which Harris died was WMD, the mission in Mount Yamantau in Black Ops 1's campaign. So if he is somehow still alive, obviously the Ethereum is causing the people, the dead, to be reanimated as zombies. And what if Omega Group found a way to reanimate the dead without turning into a zombie? We don't really know Omega Group's true goal with tampering with the Dark Aether, but I mean, hell, that would be a pretty nice objective for them to achieve. The last thing I want to say is is that this map is beautiful and I think that's going to be the best benefit for seeing it as a zombies map. I often think when I'm playing the campaign, this is too beautiful for just one short little mission. I wish we could play this as a zombies map or something like that. So it does seem like we are going to. You know, there's the frozen over waterfall and all this just really awesome stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below, what DLC do you think this map is going to be? It's going to be one of the DLC. I just don't know which one, but there's a lot of teasers within the game right now already for this Euro Mountains map, so I'm wondering if it could be one of the earlier DLCs, potentially DLC 2. However, then I'm also thinking maybe it could be one of the later DLCs, DLC 3 or 4, just because of the fact that this is one of the largest dimensional breaches. Anyways, thank you for watching the video, make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.